All right, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video here on the channel and today we're going to be talking about Mia Khalifa because if you didn't know, uh, Mia Khalifa has been going through what she calls a quote-unquote rebrand over the last few years. For instance, pretty much everybody knows her, uh, at least because of her acting industry time, I guess is the best way to put that in a, you know, safe way to say it for YouTube. She's known for being a really good actress. Uh, so yeah, everyone knows her from that and everything, but apparently she's been trying to like rebrand her career and rebuild everything in a completely different way. Honestly, I don't really keep up on Mia Khalifa, so I don't really know what she's been up to. I actually saw an article from someone called uh, Bustle here. I've never heard of this group before. I don't know if this is some sort of like news outlet or something, but apparently they did like a personal interview with Mia Khalifa and it ended up kind of going viral over on Twitter, semi-viral, and people had a lot to say about it. Personally, I read through it and everything to kind of see what exactly was going on with that. And uh, yeah, there's just some stuff in here that I kind of wanted to talk about because uh, if you didn't know here, uh, Mia Khalifa demands that you respect her. You better respect this rebrand, bro. You better get with the fucking program here. She's got something new coming and you better be ready for it. You know, don't, don't think of her as just that actress that everybody knew from the hub anymore. Mia Khalifa is gone a completely different direction now and is rebuilding her whole career and you better respect that, buddy. So this interview is full of hypocrisy to me and I kind of just want to talk about it and talk about the overall, you know, change and everything, what she's doing, uh, update you guys on what's going on and then kind of talk about some of the off-putting parts of this article because there's some of this that just doesn't make sense right like she'll simultaneously demand that men and everybody respect her rebrand and give her the light to change on a positive note but then will also in the same time say I'm rebranding for women I'm rebuilding and I want to grow with women and you know basically going on this long tangent I don't know I just kind of want to talk about it she's in the midst of restarting her career by transitioning away from the demographic that has controlled her trajectory for so long, i.e. straight men. I am growing as a woman, Mia Khalifa says, and I want to grow with other women. Okay, so there's nothing particularly wrong with saying this, like, you know, if she wants to cater to a female audience and everything, like, go for it, you know, I'm not here to say that that's wrong or anything, like, for instance, most of my audience is male. There's nothing really wrong with catering to specific demographics or anything, but it's pretty funny that at the same time as she'll say things like, oh, I want to grow with other women, creeps and jerks will get blocked, you know, uh, she's also going to later demand that everybody respect the rebrand, and the reason why I find this funny is because... Obviously, a little bit of conflict of interest there. You can't at the same time say, oh, I'm building this for women. You know, I'm I'm specifically doing this to grow with other women. I'm growing as a woman. No longer will straight men control my trajectory. No longer will they control the outcome of my life. Which, by the way, it's kind of, I, I think, stupid to say that only straight men ever watched her on camera. You know what I mean? I feel like there's probably a pretty good sizable demographic of other sexualities and other genders and whatnot that watched her content on the hub. But it's ironic that you'll say this and say that you're doing this for women, but then later you're demanding that, you know, people re respect you, you know, respect my rebrand, everybody. It's like, pick a side. Are you doing this for women and doing this for yourself as a woman, or are you doing this to constantly get validation from everybody around you? You really can't have it both ways. If, if you want to do this for whatever cause or whatever you've determined that it's all for, then stick to that. Quit demanding that everybody automatically respect you just because you're rebranding, which, by the way, is unrealistic realistic as fuck in the first place. The sad reality of it is, the world is not completely caught up to sex work. Now personally, I don't really look down on sex workers or people who film porn or anything like that. I don't really think that it makes you a bad person or, you know, is so dehumanizing that I wouldn't see you as a person or something, but you have to consider the fact that a lot of people out there consider it to be a very dirty industry that they don't want to partake in and that they don't respect. You're simply just not going to get the respect of everybody. It just won't happen. That's not how the world works. It doesn't matter who you are, unless you're like Morgan Freeman, you're not going to get the respect of the entire world. Because that's unrealistic to assume that everybody's going to respect you when, to be fair and completely honest, you chose one of the most polarizing career choices you possibly could have. So if you didn't know, Mia Khalifa apparently has like blown up on TikTok or whatever. She's gotten tens of millions of followers and that's been like the rebuild, right? This is the process here. Instead of being known her entire life as being a fucking porn star, she is uh, now wanting to be known as a 
TikTok celebrity slash influencer on the platform, which once again, you know, go for it. If you want to reinvent yourself and do all this stuff, that's completely okay. I don't have a problem with that, but once again, it just isn't possible for you to garner the amount of respect that seems that you want. Now, I understand, you know, you don't want to be looked at as a porn star or whatever, but you have to realize that's what you're most famous for. Even with the tens of millions of followers on TikTok, that doesn't put a dent in the surface of the amount of people who have seen you on cam. And so until it does reach that number, that's basically what you're just going to be viewed as because it's what you've been primarily known for since, well, ever since you've really had a name. Also, I, I just want to point out how ironic it is. She claims she wants to build this big rebrand, but yet she won't move past her stage name. If you didn't know, uh, Mia Khalifa, and I only found this out because this article explains it, actually isn't even her real name. Yeah, if you didn't know that, that's not her real name. That's a name she came up with. So I guess her dog was named Mia and she really liked Wiz Khalifa's music. So she just combined the two and that's how she's come up with this name. But instead of going by like, I don't know, her real name or by a different stage name that she's come up with, she's decided that her rebrand will include her porn name, but then she doesn't want to be viewed as a porn star. So it doesn't even make any fucking sense. Like, are you rebranding and rebuilding yourself and reinventing yourself or are you not? It's like pick one. But once again, you're not going to garner all this respect that you're demanding if you decide to quote unquote rebrand by basically staying the same. I mean, if you think about it, the only thing that's being reinvented here is what you do, okay? Y you've gone from basically taking dick for a living to getting on TikTok, right? But at the end of the day, until you decide to switch up that stage name, people are going to view you as what you were in the past. It, it just, that that's the way it is. I hate to be that guy and, and to say that or whatever, but at the end of the day, that's just reality knocking at the door. I mean, that'd be like me saying like, oh, hey, everybody, uh, I'm going through a rebrand here on YouTube, right? Uh, you guys are going to respect my fucking rebrand. And then I'd keep my name and profile picture as the Optimus brand that I've built this whole time. Imagine if Walmart came out and said, hey, guys, we're rebranding, but we're going to stay as Walmart and keep the same logo, same look at our stores. Like you're not really reinventing yourself. You're just doing something different than you already did under the same name. That's not really reinventing or rebuilding yourself. So what Mia Khalifa put posts on OnlyFans is titillating without being explicit, lewd but not nude, and she says she'll quote block anyone if they even say one thing that's annoying or quote tell them to shut up if they complain. Respect the rebrand. So you want people to respect you but you can't even take one comment out of slightness uh, and be able to fucking handle that without blocking somebody? One critical comment or one comment that she deems too annoying is all it takes for her to block you from viewing her content. That sounds like a really good strategy for growth, you know, uh, when you're trying to rebuild and re invent yourself it's always good to just take anyone who says anything you don't like and create an echo chamber by blocking them out of it that's a really good idea oh yeah and i forgot to mention she also does fucking only fans so at the same time she doesn't want to be viewed as a porn star she's decided to create and run an account on a website where porn stars are known to make porn for a widespread audience and uh, has decided that you know you looking at that is not softcore porn somehow like i mean uh, lewd but not nude what is that? I, I haven't looked at it you know i'm not subscribing to a fucking OnlyFans account. I'm sorry, but apparently she's just posting softcore shit. Like, I, I don't know what it really entails, but it's not explicit. So it's not like full on nudity. Not like anyone hasn't seen that from you before, but it's just ironic to say like, hey, I want to move past my porn star days and run an OnlyFans account under the same stage name that you made porn under, right? This whole rebrand just screams, hey, I don't want to be viewed as a porn star, but at the same time, you're doing everything that the porn star you did. The only thing different that you're really doing is you're not naked and you're making TikToks. That, it's really it, you know? Wouldn't really call that a rebrand uh, that is worthy of being completely respected, you know? Uh, it's just ironic to me that you choose the industries that people have the least respect for and then complain that you're not getting enough respect from these same people and then at the same time as you're complaining about not getting the same respect from these people that you want, you basically say, hey, I'll block anyone who says anything annoying or tell them to shut up if they complain. I'm gonna create a fucking echo chamber and, and basically only market myself to just women, right? Like, I want to grow with women. Uh, women inspired me to do this. I'm building myself up as a woman. But I want all the straight men's respect still, even though they quote-unquote won't be dictating my life anymore. I, I need that respect. 
I don't know. It just, it all just screams hypocrisy to me. It, it figures like it was just kind of made up on the spot. Like she just one day decided, hey, I don't really want to do porn anymore. I want to do something else. And then just demanded that everybody forget about the past. There's just a, a lot of hypocrisy really in this whole interview. And it's funny that I'm being demanded to respect something like this. Like I'll, I'll respect the rebrand when you decide to move on past your stage name and everything that you're now complaining about people remembering. But until then, I really don't know what you want people to do. I mean, it just, you can't have your cake and eat it too you know like i figure you've heard that before that's kind of just how the world works right like you're not gonna get everybody's respect and people are gonna view you for what you're known for like for the rest of my life man i'm gonna probably be known as the guy who made youtube videos that's just how it is right you know i guess it's good to say you are your biggest moments you know whenever you've drawn the most attention to yourself is when you're the most consumable and until she i guess quote unquote rebrands enough to completely dwarf her porn days i don't really understand what she's complaining about if anything the the reason that you've even blown up in the first place is because everybody recognizes you from porn. I don't know what else you want me to say. So with that being said, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're brand new around here on the channel, follow me over on Twitter and Twitch at Subdoptimus. Make sure to check out Shoptimus down below. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus, well, talking about Mia Khalifa's rebrand and signing out.